lovely viewers. Welcome to Zinat's Kitchen. I hope you're all well and safe. Today I'm coming up with a very easy recipe which everybody likes in Mauritius. I'm going to add all these things in the recipe and uh, this is something that we all know and we know, most of us knows how to cook it but some people don't know from newcomers like students going abroad. So I am going to make a split peas pakora, gato pima. I'm going to use three cups full of split peas, dal uh, Right, and this is going to be soaked, wash well first, and then soak all night. And then the next morning, I have to grind it and then proceed. Okay, shall we not waste time then? Let's go to the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I'm showing you the, the dal that I'm using. This is a split piece. I have used three cups of this full, three full cup. Now this is already soaked, so that means I will get more than three cups. I have put Without, before soaking, it was full like that. Three cups, I'm sure these cups you all know about. Almost all of you have this back home. Okay. Right, look at the cups properly. This is the one. Three cups full, it's about uh, 850 grams. Okay. It's all been soaked, I'm going to grind it soon. Now what I'm going to add in that is all this fine vegetable, fine herbs. You don't necessarily have to put the same thing because I have them from my garden. So I'm showing you what I'm using. Some mint, some thyme, spring green, and some chai. And this is uh, bird susu leaves, shayat leaves. So I'm just going to chop that very fine. I will put in the dal after grinding. And then I will have to put some uh, bicarbonate and then uh, that's it. I will mix it all well. I will not put salt because I'm going to keep it in the freezer. I'm going to put them in Ziploc bag and keep in the freezer. Only when I have to use it, that's the time I will put uh, my uh, salt. And chili as well. I have to put a lot of chili. I did not show you the chili. Quite a lot of chili I put depends on your taste anyway. Here is my dal. It's already been grind now. Here's all the greens I'm putting inside. It will be washed and drained. And this is a chili. I take plenty of chili. I have put everything except salt. I'm going to mix it well and then put them in the Ziploc bag. You can reuse them afterward. You wash them and keep them for the next time you make the petopima. So you can keep them in the freezer like that. Yeah, look, my lovely people. I have got eight portions. I have already put it in the Ziploc bag and now I'm going to freeze it. Everything is in it except salt. So whenever you want to go and fry it, you take one packet. My, I have a small family, so one is okay for me. So if I ever happen to have guests, I remove two packets. You can do it in a small packet. It takes less space in the freezer. And if you have a big family, you take two packets out, you use. So that's it. Here is a gato pima, the split peas pakora. I have added salt and half a teaspoon of cumin powder and a small bit of bread, which I have soaked and squeezed the water out. So I'll mix that all in. Just mix it well. And start making your gato pima. Your split peas pakora. So easy. You may be thinking that it's an easy recipe. Everybody knows how to do it. How many youngsters leave home, they start their life away from home, sometimes overseas, the students going overseas, they struggle too much. Sometimes some of them can cook, but they are not confident, they have no experience. So this recipe is for them. Yeah, you just shape it like that. 
if you want to make the original one with the hole in the center there we are like that so easy I'm just going to eat it with bread and butter and I hope you enjoy the video if you have any requests please let me know and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram bon appetit see you in my next video then